Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Chow DSP BYOD, uh, which is remarkable in the fact that it's free and also remarkable in the fact that it's great. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a modular uh, multi-effects system. Um, so I've built this kind of ambient thing to start. see that there's a clean gain, couple of delays, stereo splitter, stereo major, a centaur, a couple of spring reverbs and a chorus. Well, we'll go where, we'll go through it. We'll take out the, well, I'll take our, the microphone away as soon as we start to build. But I want to give you a quick run through of how you build, which is very simple. This here, this times two is the oversampling. If you go too high, you'll blow out your DSP. Uh, and it will accept mono or stereo input or left or right. So that's that's quite nice. Then you have input gain, uh, output dry wet mix. Also very nice as well. Okay, so you'll see that it's using about 15% DSP at the moment um, with all these running. Okay, so click on here. And in the Chow section here, you'll get some presets, some players, and a default. We'll tap the default. And we've just got the guitar going from the input to the output. So if we disconnect the output just by tapping on it, or we can hold and connect like that. You'll see a little highlight when you're in the connected region. So when it highlights, little red highlight, you can and then as soon as it highlights there, you can let go and it'll connect. So let's disconnect that there. And you can choose your modules here. So we have drive. And then you have tone. Utility. And other. So it's super easy. Let's start with a Centaur this time. And let's connect the input to the output the input to the centaur we can move these around and let's connect the output there now so it's quite a nice gain but we can bypass it here and you have uh, you can replace it with another effect. You can duplicate it like this, and then you can connect the, you know, you can carry on connecting. Uh, it's really good. Now, you see here where it says the percentage, this is the screen size. So if we go a bit larger, it will always fill the screen. So if you've got loads of these going, they'll all be mishmashed together, but then you can just go like this. So you've got to go down to 46%. You can move all this stuff around then. So you can, you know, you've got quite a big uh, working area. So let's make it a bit bigger for now. Okay, and so we start to need to. So we can disconnect the output there from the Centaur. Okay, and choose another. Let's choose a, another drive. Maybe uh, there's all this kind of stuff and it's all set for, you know, kind of basic guitar pedal stuff, you know, like... Again, we'll just connect that to there and this to there. else we've got going on we can disconnect this now don't forget so tone maybe a uh back sounds all eq it's very simple eq again but before we do something else let's add in a um or that let maybe a um delay and, and don't forget guys this is free and then we'll finish off this with a chorus maybe or a, oh yeah, a spring reverb 
Okay, so let's kind of get our thing in line. So we need to connect our output from our warp to wherever we want to go next. So let's go into our uh, EQ. Then we can go from our EQ into our delay. And then from our delay into our spring reverb and our spring reverb to the out. Now, oh, sorry, didn't connect it to the output. Let's have a listen to the reverb. Let's. Nice modulation on the spring there. Centaur a bit more gain. Okay, so we'll do another one. I don't need to keep this, so I'll just reset it. Another cool uh, thing we can do is let's do this. Let's get, again, let's give ourselves a centaur. It's a nice drive. And let's just connect the output first but now if we go in here you'll see what is also cool in utility here you have all sorts like dc bias dc blocker uh, you have an oscilloscope and a tuner so we'll utilize them at the end just to see what they're doing but we also have so first of all stereo splitter we shall add a stereo splitter and we'll take um output from the centaur into the input of the stereo splitter. And then we'll add in maybe a, um, so we can hear it, we'll add in a delay here. And we'll take the left side. So you have different modes in the splitter as well. You have left and right, mid side. We'll take the left here into the input of this delay. We're not hearing anything because we're not connecting to the output. And then what we'll do is add in, um, in, in maybe other, we'll add in a uh, tremolo here. And we'll take the output of the right channel into the tremolo. And that is where you now want to add your, I'm going to decrease the size as well. So we've got a bit more room. I'm going to add in a in utility, a stereo major now so we'll take the output from the delay into the left and we'll take the output from the tremolo into the right and then we'll take the output from the stereo major into the main output and now what we'll have we turn the level up a little bit you'll have the delay we can emphasize this by during the feedback and the delay time, we'll have the delay on the left and the tremolo only on the right. So you can come up with some cool effects. Now, I, right, I haven't tried this yet, but so I'll try it now while I'm here, but I don't think this will work. Let's put in another. Uh, let's put in a spring reverb. Uh, no, let's put in another um, another delay. Another delay. So a delay. Um, you can have as many of these effects as you like. So I'm not sure if I can now take... Oh, of course I can, yeah. Stupid that was, wasn't it? I can take this output from the stereo merge into the delay and then take the delay main out into this as well. So now I've got two delays, one I'll make really long with a slow time, maybe back off the top and so that's quite interesting. So it's not 
just, although it's called build your own distortion, it's not just for distorted sounds. You can build really lo lovely ambient sounds with different delays and things. It's really cool. Um, Okay, so I'll build one more, but I'll I'll turn the microphone off so you're not hearing any of this clicky guitar stuff going on. Um, but to save it, I'll I will save it as well. So just for fun, so uh, you save preset as um, I, 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 just, I don't know. I'll just call it ambient delay. Uh, I, I, no, I've got ambient one. I'll call it ambient two just for fun and then go okay and now i've got two in my sorry about this i'm gonna use my mouse user ambient one and ambient two so ambient what oops crash let me open that again let's see let's see if it's gonna re open open my ambient one yeah so there's my ambient one and that was the first one i had and then um, let's try ambient two, the one we just made. I'll turn the microphone down and we'll build another from scratch. Well, I'll mute it.
So there you go. Build your own delay. Uh, build your own distortion. Could be build your own delay. I think it's very, very good. For free, you it's you just might as well go and get it. I'm sort of swigging me coffee and all. But yeah, it's awesome stuff. So you're only limited by your imagination. Of course, it does come with some um, presets, of course. If we go in here, like, you have got some pedals, so big morph. So what else we got here? Um, set the centaur. Which is nice. Um, instant metal. Um, it has got a gate as well. Let's so should we put? A, let's see if we put a gate in here. I'm I'm presuming it's a noise gate to be a utility. We didn't have a look at the uh, oscillator. A mixer you can mix different pedals together and control their you know volume. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's put in. That's not in there, is it? So what's in other gate? So for gating, let's see. Let's connect the amp impulse response to the raw, and then that to there. Let's see if we can. Yeah. Fast attack, I think. Quick release. Better. Anyway, you could mess around with that. Let's disconnect. Let's get rid of that. And let's have a quick look at the oscilloscope. It looked interesting. Uh, utility oscilloscope here. Let's connect it up. I wonder. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. You can put, right, that's, you can have several con connections by the looks of it, can you? Maybe just the one into the oscilloscope. Different impulse responses, different cabs, Marshall, Wagner, and uh, Fender. Let's have a quick look at the mixer, shall we? Um, utility. Um, not the mixer, the tuner. See how far out of tune I am. <laughs> See if we can go from this to there. Yeah. Far out, amazing. So there you go, guys. There is a look at the the marvelous and free, the marvelous and free. Build your own distortion. B O B Y O D. Okay, I'll put a link in anyway. Um, and you might as well go and get it because it is free. And an AUV3 as well has been free. Free. What's this? No, oh, this is it. Oh, yeah. It's your input. Right. Okie dokie. Uh, what have we got in settings here? Um, cable visualizations. Um, source code. So that's nice. Um, if you know what you're doing. Right. Okay. Brilliant. Top job. Cool beans. I'll see you guys later. Ta da.